And religious organizations with foreign links or which receive large donations may soon face higher standards of accountability here in Singapore. This is the country seeks to ramp up safeguards against foreign interference with proposed amendments to the Maintenance of Religious Harmony Act. If passed, the Home Affairs Ministry will also be able to take quicker action against those who disrupt religious harmony. The government is warning of foreign actors potentially sowing religious conflict or imposing values that threaten the country's harmony. And that's why it wants greater scrutiny on foreign leaders, funding and their influence. Under the proposed changes, religious organizations must disclose foreign donations of over $10,000 and any links with overseas persons or organizations who may exert control over them. And only Singaporeans or permanent residents can hold key positions, though there may be exemptions. About 100 organizations out of around 2,500 are currently unable to meet these requirements, such as the Korean Church in Singapore. One organization with foreign links said there was no issue as their leadership was mainly Singaporean and they rarely received overseas funding. All the while we believe in supporting local rules, local harmony, so we are, we are totally supportive. The government is also aiming to tackle the quick spread of offensive statements via social media. Therefore, any restraining order against someone who disrupts religious harmony will take effect immediately. This effectively removes the current 14-day notice period, although there's still a chance for representations to be made to remove the order. There'll also be a community-based option for those who have wounded the feelings of other religious communities. This includes an apology or counselling. Those who take up the offer can't be prosecuted. Several religious organizations, such as the Islamic Religious Council and the Roman Catholic Archdiocese, have issued statements in support of the proposed changes. The Hindu community will, re will welcome the, these amendments and uh, we will go by the, some of the criteria and the protocols we need to maintain in order to uh, give expression in total. To the amendments. With the advent of uh, social media and internet, I think it's high time for the for the government to update this bill so that it become more relevant to uh, the so, uh, social society at large and to the relig religious society as well. He added that society should be more forgiving and tolerant to those who are granted the community-based initiative.